So uh, it's pretty simple. On the bottom, you remove the rubber pads and you'll have screw holes that you'll want to unscrew. And I'm gonna put the rubber pads back on there because it gives it a little traction for when you have to plug in uh, uh, the power cord. So after you remove the screws, you can uh, pop the lid open here. I'll turn it around and grab my, my tweezers where you can see that you need to short those two holes together. And at the same time, you're gonna plug in your power cable right there. I will first plug in my OTG cable to the USB to my laptop. It's plugged in. Grab my tweezers. Short those two pins. Plug in the power supply. <clears throat> we come here and open the Android tool.exe. And it says, found one mass chrome device. If you don't see that fast, found one mass chrome device, keep doing those same steps. I'm gonna click on upgrade firmware, click on firmware. I'm gonna browse out to the whatever folder I want. Uh, you can go back with the stock ROMs, the Transmart Orion R28, just download it. And there, you'll see the image file. You can pick on that. And uh, but today, actually, I'm going to flash mine with uh, the new Open Hour that just came out. You pick that IMG file, and it'll take a minute. And now I can click Upgrade. It's going to. Uh, this will take a few minutes and be really patient with this. Some of the instructions say wait up to five minutes uh, before you plug in your HDMI cable to your Tron Smart and, uh, and, and and get the new new ROM on there. So be patient. Go get a cup of coffee. Let it sit just like that, and uh, and it should work just fine.